Hello people, in this video we want to look at all the causes of Parkinsonism. So what and all can cause Parkinsonism? Parkinsonism is a group of symptoms. So it is a syndrome. Okay. So look at this. So what are the symptoms that you will see in Parkinsonism? You mainly remember, okay, here we are not trying to cover the symptoms or we are just trying to tell you the causes, right? So remember, there can be resting tremor, there can be rigidity, cogwheel rigidity, right? Then there can be uh, lead pipe rigidity. So a lot of rigidity, cogwheel type of rigidity, lead, uh, lead pipe type of rigidity, right? This person walks slow. Then um, what else you will see? Expressionless face, stooped posture. And I don't know why they always show men when we ask for uh, Parkinsonism image. But it looks like in men the uh, incidence is more okay, than women. But women are also affected. Okay, So now this uh, Parkinsonism you understood the uh, symptoms right. The Now um, basically what do we want to look at the causes right you understood right. What are we here for? We are here to learn the causes of uh, Parkinsonism, all the causes. Yeah, very good. Ready to look at all the causes? Okay. So basically, look at this. There is something called as Parkinson's disease, is it? Parkinson's disease itself is it? it is there, which causes Parkinsonism. So PD is the word used for Parkinson's disease. It will cause the Parkinsonism. So easy, right? And next to, uh, behind it, they put off one prefix, idiopathic. Davidson textbook itself says idiopathic. Parkinson disease that means they don't know why it happens and 80% of the Parkinsonism is because of this type of idiopathic disease they don't know why it happens okay other causes which will lead to this Parkinsonism some cerebrovascular disease in the brain some vascular problem drugs and toxins you take some drugs toxins like antipsychotics lithium all these dangerous dangerous drugs if the person has taken okay toxins if there are there then degenerative disease what is happening what is degenerating the uh, brain let's say brain so with age i think lot of things degenerate what do you say alzheimer's can lead to parkinsonism ah like that people have will have alzheimer's with parkinsonism those symptoms then system atrophy some dementia with lewy bodies lot of things okay now let us we are just looking at the headings now look at the genetic uh, causes genetic causes uh, people uh, huntington disease again this is degenerative only right then wilson's disease because of all the copper accumulation looks like so wilson's disease will lead to parkinsonism will wilson's disease lead to parkinson's disease no no so you understood the difference right okay then anoxic brain injury some brain injury okay so list of causes we told you but what exactly is happening that you didn't understand right so um, what is this idiopathic Parkinson's disease what exactly is getting affected okay that we look at in this diagram look at this this is Parkinson's disease PD in Parkinson's disease what exactly is happening the substantia Niagara which they have shown here is it substantia Niagara I thought it was substantia Niagara basal ganglia they're saying okay we'll go with this basal ganglia it is showing that there is reduced dopamine activity wait let's put a red color here reduced dopamine activity in the substantia uh, why am i saying in the basal ganglia okay textbook says basal ganglia basal ganglia okay do you know why this dopamine activity is less in the substantia niagara do you know do you know do you know if you say you know you're wrong they don't know that's why they called it as idiopathic very good idiopathic parkinson's disease at least 80 percent of parkinsonism is idiopathic but they have said that the cause could be this guy this guy mptp a toxin an environmental toxin this mptp which environment from where is this mptp coming we have to check this but what is mptp m p t p m p t p so one of the causes of this uh, you know they are guessing only so it is idiopathic only remember but mptp is what let me tell you that mptp methyl mptp okay methyl phenyl tetra P becomes HP okay it is hydropyridine correct 
so what is it you people say methyl phenyl tetra hydro pyridine very good so they think this could be a cause obviously all the causes are listed here one of these should be the cause okay for this um, substantia nigra to not be making the dopamine sufficient okay so um, who was supposed to make the dopamine what is dopamine dopamine is a neurotransmitter nerve to nerve nerve to nerve transmission neurotransmitter is dopamine now this dopamine is less why because um, the the dopamine was supposed to be made in the substantia nigra and it is not being made okay so dopamine is less people focus here so what they are saying is dopamine is less and there is some bad protein which is alpha synuclein alpha synuclein l e i n i'm trying to draw i'm trying to do wait l e i n alpha synuclein is the bad guy here okay wait let me try to erase this because dopamine is a good guy okay so let's put dopamine in green dopamine is a good guy but he is less and this alpha synuclein which is bad is more okay you understood right so alpha synuclein is bad and it is accumulating one more thing is accumulating called as the lewy bodies lewy bodies lewy bodies where are all this in your brain they are accumulating within the nigral cells so in the nerve okay look at this i'm i'll try to mark it see this purple thing these look like the lewy bodies to me what do you say people so now you have understood all the causes of parkinsonism what do you have to do in life to not get parkinsonism let's see if you can say uh we should not become old okay but we can't help that so what are the causes avoid all these drugs environmental toxins etc lithium stay away manganese stay away methyl phenyl tetra hydropyridine stay away from it let me just check where this mptp is there in the world wait wikipedia says that it is a neurotoxin it's a precursor to the neurotoxin okay where do we find it in the world that it is coming and causing parkinsonism for me see once it crosses the blood brain barrier it is becoming the toxin okay and it is killing the dopamine producing neurons it says wow i like all this but where exactly is mptp in the world illicit drugs where else herbicide it says people okay at least some information we got so okay we'll keep away from some herbicides okay we'll keep away from manganese wherever i will find it and i'll keep away from lithium sodium valproate okay some anti seizure medication anti psychotics we will try to avoid we will not have some mania if we don't have mania we are not taking anti psychotics so let's say we are safe from that metaclopramide metaclopramide where do you use come on metaclopramide metaclopramide for nausea they are saying but it causes parkinsonism don't give it then what do you say people only if you take too much i think it will cause parkinsonism prochlorperazine that is also this uh, prochlorperazine also is vertigo anti vertigo right Clo prochlorperazine yeah that is right so that also can lead to parkinsonism tetrabenazine for what on earth am i giving tetrabenazine to people what is tetrabenazine 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 it's used to treat chorea involuntary movements we have heard of this in that um, rheumatic heart disease right and also they are talking actually it's there in huntington's disease they are saying it balances dopamine levels but it leads to parkinsonism interesting so what else can we say how can we avoid we are just learning the causes by way of trying to avoid getting it cerebrovascular disease i think 
all that smoking thrombotic agents and all if you don't take it will work G degenerative disease yeah you told no you shouldn't become old so you should not degenerate basically they are saying so how do you keep your nerves from degenerating how do you keep your nerves healthy you should take some nutrients genetics how can i change then genetics now i cannot do anything about this right wilson's disease okay at least get out all the extra copper anoxic brain injury no oxygen to brain why would i even try to give an anoxic brain injury to my brain right okay so basically you have understood all the causes of parkinson's